Do you play for brunch somewhere? I play uh, for brunch at Fort Myers at the Officers Club. Oh, that's cool. I play in this white baby grand. Nice. And then now I go upstairs, after I play for the Fife and Drum Room brunch, I go upstairs and I play in the Koran Room for the, I play on this 15-foot yeah. piano, it's worth about $250,000. I play on this really constant grand, big piano. Amazing. And I play up there for one hour, then I come down and play for two more hours and three hours. It's a lot of work. Nice. What's well, fun, though. But they love for it. <coughs> yeah, it's fun. I enjoyed it. I bet, on a beautiful piano like that. Yeah. Okay. staccato lightly in the left hand. Okay, so we've got three beats in a measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Got C, E, G. This is the C position. This is going to be played from the, oh, don't tell me this, C position. I thought the pen was running out of ink. C, E, G, D. G, F, you have to hold the dotted half note for three counts, right? You know that, right? Yeah. G, F, F, E, F, D, G, F, G, F sharp, G, E, C, E, G. Were you supposed to play something in here for me today? Yeah, the... Um Oh, are you supposed to play that? What am I? I'm going too far ahead. Okay. All right. Let's see what you can do with Pop Goes the Weasel. Because it's for see this line right here? Yeah. It's the same line as here. Yeah. And so it's going to be easy. One, two, three, four lines. Uh, C, E, G, C, E, G, D, G, G, F, G, 
GF, GF, E, D, E, D, C. And you hold it, it's tied three beats, and then hold it another two beats, and hold it for five counts. C, because that's a tie. E, G, C, E, G, that's the same. Yeah. Three, sharp right here. That's the only chromatic we have. F sharp right over there. Okay, I think you'll be able to do that for next week. And we'll say page um, 15. The pieces will get more pieces will get more challenging as we go along. They get harder as you go along. More chromatics, more flats and sharps and eighth notes. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for next time. I'll put this... What was that other song you just wrote for? I'm sorry? You said you went a little bit ahead? Oh, no, no, I meant oh, the other song. That was that, The Waltzing Elephants. Okay. That's can you play it one time? Maybe he can play it, too. I just played it. Oh, that was it? Okay. Yeah, see, it was oh, Okay. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. One, count with me. One, two, three, 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 one, so we'll do that in this book. Now, we have performance level one. We have piano level one. Primary B, what happens if we count? Is that the same book? It must be. Not so. Yeah, it must be level one. Let's see, what are I looking at? Primary B, you know, we finished. <laughs> Let's see. We finished Prima B. Prima B is done. This is level one. So I wrote the wrong. Oh, I'm doing great today, I'll tell you. This is the uh, lesson book. Level one. So we're not using Prima. We finished the Prima. We're on level one now. Okay, and that's going to be page 15 in the lesson book level one. Okay, now we're going to the performance book. It's been a long day, I'll tell you. Huh? I'm so exhausted after yesterday. Uh, now we're doing uh, level one, pages six and seven. Oh, the animal band. Okay. How far do we go? We did one, two, three, four lines. Can you play four lines today? Yeah. Okay. in this piece. E flat C G 
G G G G F E D and now it's E C E C D D is that the same? No, that's the same as the beginning. F D F D E and the left hand is G E C G F and G E C G E C G G G D F E D C this is G E C G F line number eight is G E C E G G G C Okay, so I'll play the whole piece through. All right, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, soon you'll be playing some really nice pieces by major composers, but we have to start out with this stuff. It's, it's very important to be able to play notes and correct rhythms and everything. Now, three. Okay, so I'll finish with this one. Let's go to Exit on Solo. You're at level two now. Page six and page, I don't know what that is, wait a minute. Did we finish the little gray donkey? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the little flower girl of Paris, that's what we're doing now. This one. the same thing here all the way through. G N. Yeah, that's it. So I was start with the first note. C. No. Oh no, you're not playing it right. Get up. You have to play the first note in the left hand and then the two in the right. G, F. These are all G, Fs. See, I put a line here to show you. This is all G, F. G, F. Changes the right hand. 
C G now. No, no. What are you doing? You gotta play both hands together. Start from the top. second ending. Then don't play the first ending again. You only play it the first time. Then you jump over and take the second ending. Okay, play it again. time you play the first ending. Then you go back and then go jump to the second ending. That's what I want you to do. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, go back and do it again. before the left hand had the melody. Now the right hand has a melody, and the left hand is in the, you're now in the key of G major. So you have F sharps. You gotta play C and F sharp. And the fingering is one five. One five. Now you have B and G. B and G. C and F sharp. That's one five. C and F sharp. One five. These are all C and F sharps. All of them. And G and A and D. And that's F sharp, E and D. B and G. So we'll go up, we'll take, uh, you did one, two, three, four lines. I want you to do five, six lines for next week. So you go here, C, jump over to the second A. Then, second finger on E, D, G, D, A, D, G, F sharp, E, D. Now the left hand is going to be C, fifth finger on F sharp, one, then G, B, then C, F sharp, then G, B, one, two, for next week? Yes. Okay, play the whole thing through. Play here. Then take the first ending. B, B, A, G, A, B. And then go back down to here. And take the second ending. B, C. But notice the right hand is different. E, G. Alright, and then you go on. E, Five, fifth finger on F sharp, 
like this, then G B, then C and F sharp, then G B. Okay. So we'll see what you can do with that. Um, now let's see. Accent on solos. Okay, we'll play, I want you to work on pages six and seven. Six lines, that's all. So I want you to play the first piece, page, you go over here, play the first ending, then go back and go down here and jump over and take the second ending. Then you come here and you play those two lines. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Now. We didn't have any skills today, did we? And you did the E flat major scale last week. So I didn't give you any skills. Well, let's see. I have to give you the scale today to work on for next time. Let's see what we did. We did E major. We did B major. We did F sharp. We did C sharp. We did F. We did B flat. We did E flat. But we didn't do A flat. So let's see how we can we can work on A flat for the next time. A new scale. Okay, now the fingering is wrong. It could be two, three, three. Notice on the right hand, there's no fourth finger. You don't use any fourth finger. But on the left hand, there's three, two, one, fourth finger on D flat. Three, two, one, two. One, two, three, fourth finger. Let's see what the notes are. A flat, B flat, C. D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. G and F. E flat, D flat, C, B flat, and then we have at the ending A flat. And we'll try to do it three. If we can do it three times, that would be good. So the right hand is going to play second finger on A flat, third finger B flat, thumb on C, second finger D flat, no fourth finger E flat, thumb on F, G, A flat, G, F. Third finger E flat, D flat, C, B flat, and A flat. And the left hand will play third finger on A flat, B flat, thumb on C, and fourth finger on D flat, E flat, F, G, second finger A flat, thumb on G, F, E flat, D flat, fourth finger, and thumb under B flat and A flat. Let's see if you can do, I want to see if you can do that. Um, Okay, sit over there, over there and we'll stand, wait a minute, we're standing up, get too far away. Okay, now sit down. Okay, now see, take your right hand, put your second finger on that key. Now I'll tell you what to play. Don't play anything yet. Okay, now play the A flat, B flat, no, oh, this is B flat. Put your thumb under on C. Second finger D flat, third finger E flat, thumb under on F, second finger G, third finger A flat, second finger G, thumb on F, third finger E flat, second finger D flat, thumb on C, third finger B flat, and E flat. No fourth finger. Good. And just follow it as it is right here. Okay, left hand, third finger on A flat. Now here it is. Play E flat, B flat. C, thumb on C, fourth finger over on D flat, E flat, F, thumb on G, second finger A flat, G, F, E flat, D flat, thumb under on C, B flat, and A flat. Do you think you can learn that at home? Yes. Okay, good. That makes a big difference. Okay, let me check that off. Check that off and check that one off.
Okay, let me sit here. So this is called A flat major. Why on the flat it scales up? A flat major. The more scales you learn, the better you'll be able to play better because you'll know all the notes, you see? And your fingering, you'll learn all the good fingering. That's going to be page 26. So I want you to work on that the next time. Well, let's see what we have on the table of contents. What did we write down here? We already did this. We did this scale, this one. We did this one. We're not going to do this one. And we're not going to do this minor scale. Those two minor scales are not used, so we're not going to do it. You did E flat major. You did F major, B flat, and E flat. Now we're going to do A flat on page 26. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to um, a Baroque book. We had a march on page 7, didn't we? Which one was it? The second march? Second. Second march. Okay, well, let's try that. Remember how it goes? Uh, put your left hand thumb on middle C. Put your left hand thumb on middle C. Where's middle C? No, that's not. That's O C. Put your left hand thumb on middle C. Yes. Put your right hand thumb on high C. There you go. That's it. All together at the same time. is a good piece to work on. It's a G major, and we have a lot of staccato in this piece. G, G, this is all A's, all B's, B, C, D. All G's, all A's, B, and B, D, C, B, A, G. So we're just going to do the first two lines, okay? G, D, G, 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 D, G, G. Now let's see the hand position. The <coughs> hand position, two different hand positions. So on the right hand, the hand position is the G position. And the left hand, it's going to be in the C position. So here's the C position, left hand. C, here's the G position, right hand. G, A, B, C, D. G position, right hand. C position, left hand. Can you do that for next time? Yes. 
Okay, so we'll have it in the Baroque book, page 11, and we'll say two lines. So you're learning some good music now. This was written by Alexander Ranigal. And then, see, we'll get through that piece and we'll be able to go to uh, Promenade, Sonatina, and Minuet. So I'll have a lot of good pieces that we can play in here. Okay, so let's go back here. Page 11 is the Minuet. So that's two pieces we've done in here so far. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the last book, Mastering the Piano. Is this too much for you to do, or is that... What do you think? Um, what do you think? Is this... I think okay. it's fine. Okay. Maybe it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Mastering the Piano, page 4. There it is. And that's in the high C position. So instead of the regular C position, you go up eight notes to the high C position. See if you can do that. That's it, the high C position. Good. C position. And then eventually, this one we're not going to do, that's kind of easy. We're going to do the march in C, and then I want you to play the minuet in G, and we'll do the allegro and the fanfare. We're not going to do that one, but I do want you to play the shepherd pipes. We're not going to do this one. But I do want you to play the harp player, because we're going to get to that eventually. Okay. So. Let's see. You did etude in C already. And now we're going to do strolling. The next week, that's two pieces. This is high C position. E, G, F, E, D, F, E, D, C, E, D, C, D. And this is C in the left hand. G, E, and G. Let's see. E, G, F, E. This, these two measures are the same, and these two measures are the same. These two are almost the same. D, F, E, D, C, E, D, G, C. C in the bass, G. E, G, C. All right, so we have, watch. One, G, F, E, D, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E, G, F, E, D, F, E, D. One, C, E, D, G, C, two, three, four. Do you think you'll be able to do that one for next Yes. Week? Okay, good. So you'll have this one. And let's put a date here. Five, fifteen. 17, and it's called strolling. Right. We'll go from the easy ones to the ones that are a little more challenging, but that's good. So we've done those two. Okay, you've got a good program to work on, and that's for next week, okay? Okay. You're doing very well, very well. Now, in Nepal, they don't have pianos there.